Yahoo Shai, man. Yahoo Shai, he, he, he's fighting. Like, Congregation are dead. It's like the dry bones in the valley. Hey, I, those I, I, are, those I, I'm gonna tell you, man, brothers, it's, it's real cold out there, man. Okay. When the Satan is fucking with us, man. It's it, it. Shepherd, the good shepherd, giving his life for the sheep. So, so, so this is what the Lord said. He said he's the good shepherd. And if you see, and, and he gave his life for his sheep. Who's the sheep? The sheep is the Israelites. That's why the Lord he was he was put upon 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 a cross. He was put upon a cross. So he gave his life for the sheep, man. But guess what? The life that he gave for it. Next time when the Lord is coming back, Yahweh Shai, he's going to rule, man. He's going to rule with the rod of iron over all your nations he's going to rule that's that's the man who you call jesus which is coming back to reclaim his earth he's coming back to reclaim this kingdom which was made by him that's why if you read the book of john the first chapter it says in the beginning was in the beginning was So, 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 the Benic Proud will get a clad man, which the Benic Proud they can both stand it. Because the Lord, He made this kingdom, He made this earth. If, if you go to the book of Genesis, the first chapter, it's, it's, it, it, says, it says that God made the earth and the heavens. If you search out the word God there, it's in the Hebrew, Allah which means power, or, 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 or angels, or divine ones. And one of those powers was the Son of the Most High. Stay, stay there, stay there, stay there. Hey. Okay. John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was, was the most was, was with the most high. Yeah, left under the year. Ina, um, that the name of the future, better than the 
Daniel 7 and 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Daniel 7 and 13. I saw in the night visions. And behold, so one. This is, so, so this is the prophet Daniel. This is Daniel. Daniel saw a great vision, man. Our power and the Lord is showing you that the Lord is coming back and that the Israelites is going to rule again. Give me that. Yeah. Verse 13. I saw in the night visions, and behold, God. one like unto the Son of Man came in the clouds of heaven. Yeah, and that one like unto the Son of Man, that's the Lord of the shine. And it says he came in the clouds of heaven. And that's and, and that's Cherry. And in that day, to live in that day, that's a great thing to behold, yeah, man. Yeah. To see the Lord coming back in the clouds of heaven. Which, when it speaks about the clouds of heaven, that's the so-called UFOs. That's how the Lord is coming back, to reclaim His kingdom. To reclaim His inheritance. One like unto the Son of Man. Huh? Yeah. Came with the clouds of heaven. God, He came with the clouds of heaven. And that's, came. Why, that's why it's reading in Revelation, the first chapter, verse 7. See, he cometh with the clouds, and every eye shall see him. And be will. She's come. Because of him. And, sh and shall will because of and him. And will because of him. That's right. You know. And came to the and, ca uh, and came to the ancients, ancients of days. Come. And they came and he came to the ancient of days. That's the most high. So so he, he came to his father. You know? And they brought him near before him. Yep. And there was given to him dominion and glory and the kingdom that the people, nations and language should serve him. Come. His dominion. And, they, and there was given him dominion, we don't? His dominion is an everlasting dominion Come. which shall not pass away. Yep. His dominion and, is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away. So, when, so when the Lord is so when the Lord is coming back, his dominion is going to be forever. You know his dominion. He's going to dominate. He's going to dominate so our other nations. We are going to be under the nation of Israel, under our feet, in the kingdom. Or stone. And, and, and you are going to serve us. You are going to serve. You are going to serve. You are going to serve the Lord. And you know that's the, that's the Lord, man. Because when He's coming back, He's going to rule. And in the book of Romans, it is written, and we are joint heirs. Joint heirs. So if we are joint heirs, meaning, you know, we will rule with him. He will not yeah. serve, but bring him in there and chop off his head. That's right. That's Luke 19, 27, right? Read up. Okay. And his dominion is an yep. everlasting dominion. His dominion is an everlasting dominion. You Which, see? You see? And that's a great thing, man. In this white man's world, this white man is going down soon. His dominion is not an everlasting dominion. But the Lord, when the Lord is coming back, it will be an everlasting dominion. The nation of Israel, they are going to rule forever and evermore. Read up. Which shall not pass away. Which and shall not kingdom, pass away, yep. And his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. God. And it says, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. This kingdom is going to be destroyed. In our kingdom, this is not going to be destroyed. The Lord's kingdom is not going to be destroyed. You know, With violence does shall this city be taken down. Done. And, and and this kingdom is going to be destroyed. Violence. With, with, with nuclear fire. It was established by violence. God. This kingdom is going to be destroyed by nuclear fire. America is going to be destroyed. But you have a lot of people, they, they voting on Obama and thinking they are going to make it. Because Obama, that fucking puppet that they put in office, they trust in him. The scriptures say, cursed is he that trusted in man. But blessed is he that trusted in the Lord. You see? So all you other people that trust in, 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 in a man, in a funky fucking Hamite, in a, you know, funky, in this monkey Hamite, guess what? You're going down, man. You ain't, you ain't supposed to do that. If you're an Israelite, 
You're supposed to put your trust in the most time. They think they're hammers. You're supposed to put your trust in the most time. So now give me a kick to the scripture that you scripture that you had. Now, now give me a revelation the first chapter. Now the Lord is coming back. Revelation one and seven. He's coming. He's coming back in his in his in his glory. Also, it's written in the, the Isaiah the, the 63rd chapter. It says, who, "It says you can get that day after." First in your revelation. Revelation one and seven. Oh, clouds, huh. and every eye shall see him. Are you a false? I'm, I'm having a quick precept on that. This book, book of Psalms. It says, Where did you get that? It's Psalms, chapter 104, verse 3. It says, Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind. So when it says, Behold, he cometh with clouds. That's talking about an actual chariot. And that chariot is known today as a so-called UFO, the UFOs, the UFOs, the UFOs. Which, UFO, which, which supposedly a lot of dumb people think there's fucking aliens in them. That's wrong. With great bony it's, it's not the aliens in them, man. Looking like Chinese people. That, that there's really angels in them with white apparel. Angels, man. The angels are the most high in those ships. It, it's not no aliens. Because the scripture doesn't speak about aliens. It speaks about angels and it speaks about clouds and chariots. But, but today it is known as a UFO. That's how the Lord is coming back. And they also which passed him and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. And they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall will because of him. So, Actually, those spirits that was back then with the Lord, but they are—they are—they are going to be. They are now on this earth. You see, and that's a great thing, which means that man. I have a question for you. You see, leave, leave him. The, which shows you that reincarnation is in the scriptures, and the Lord spoke about reincarnation. If you read Matthew the 17th chapter, the Lord spoke about John the Baptist. John the Baptist being Elijah the prophet. That's a great thing. Also, the Lord Yahweh Shai, in, in, in his past life, he was King Solomon. God, in his past life, he was King Solomon. That's a great thing. So, John the Baptist, in Isaac, John the Baptist, that was speaking, that was preaching the truth, he was the reincarnation of the prophet Elijah. You see? But give, give me Isaiah the 63rd chapter. It says, who is this that comes from us? living in the time of the Babylonians you know so it was a book all written but it's, it contains prophecy and it is the truth you see Ezra saw also the Lord coming on a big chariot 
which he thought of that it was a mountain, that it was a mountain. He said it was a mountain, but it wasn't a mountain. You see? So yeah, read that. Isaiah 30, uh, 63, verse 1, subtitled, Vengeance and Redemption. God. Who is this, verse 1, who is this that cometh from Edom? God, from Edom. With, so, with so, so, first thing you need to understand, he said, who is this that cometh from Edom? The word Edom is from the Hebrew word Adawam, which means red, which is referring to them so-called white people which call themselves white but they are really red because Jacob called Esau red because first of all he was red and the pottage that he eat was red that he ate. you see so there's Edom it says who is this that cometh from Edom the, 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 the who is the Lord who they call Jesus which he's, he's coming in Edom to destroy it but also to deliver the elect out of it the Lord that's Yahweh Shai read on who is this that cometh from Edom God. with dyed garments from Basra? With dyed garments from Basra, read on. And, and Basra is also a city in Edom, Edom. Which, we, which we now are in, are in Holland, which is also known as, as, as Edom. Because, because you, have, you, have e living here. Yeah, you have Edomites living here. Yeah. Read on. This that is glorious in his apparel. This that is glorious in his apparel. So the Lord is going to come in his glory. Glorious. Also, there was written in Revelation, the first chapter. Behold, he shall come with clouds. You know, he will come, come. He will come in his glory, man. In his angelic form. That, that's Matthew, the 24th chapter, verse 31. You can read that here after. Read on. What Matthew? Yeah, he now. Uh, this that is in his glorious uh, 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 what? This, this that is glorious in his apparel. This traveling. That, this that is glorious in his apparel. Glorious in apparel meaning, meaning when he come out in those ships, man, that's going to be a gl glorious, glorious thing. This apparel. Because because Parents. because the chariots they are not going to come looking rusty. You see? Because <laughs> because the, because the, because the, 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 the chariots they, they, they the chariots they are made of of special elements. Man. That's, that, that, that's crazy, man. Because the chariots, they, 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 they can move through space. Go through walls. You know? It's so, it, it had to be made of a special element. Shrink. Blow up. Yeah. I mean, uh, get bigger. A special interior. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. yeah. Traveling in the generation. In the, traveling in the greatness of his strength. Traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness. Yep. Mighty to save. So, so Isaiah the prophet, he was prophesying how the Lord is going to come on a ship. You see, and that's great, man. So in the Old Testament, it was written about the Lord, and in the Old Testament, it's written how the Lord is coming back too, man. And those people in the church, they're not telling you that. That's why you fall like zombies, man. You are dead people. They are zombies. You are, you know, you are dead people. You are zombies. Because you people, you people, you, you do not follow the Bible. You follow the Bible. Do you follow the Bible? Do you follow the Bible? You follow the Bible? No, they don't, dumbass. You know. First two. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, God. and thy garments like him that treaded in the wine fat? Yeah, and thy garments, I... stop that. And thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat. Because that's what the Lord is going, going to do. He's going to tread in the wine fat, you know. He's going to stomp those other nations, man. You know, it's just like when you're making wine. How they did in the Middle Ages, they keep stepping on in in, in the wine fat. Then then what come out of is wine. That's what the Lord is going to do. He's going to destroy a lot of nations and a lot of He's people. He's going to stomp you with a timberland you know? boots. That's right. But if if like but that. if you part of the elect and the Lord knows you. He knows your spirit and and and, and 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 he did sub with you and the most high that you are going to be saved because you are you're going to do the stomping because, also because you are one of the chosen you are one of his chosen which which you are the same spirits that was back with Yahweh when the earth was created you know Verse 3, I have tried.